Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we'll be going over coding exercise 40 from the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. So we're, we're in our function section, and pretty much all of the exercises moving forward are going to have us create a function to accomplish something. And I see um, a fair amount of questions on the Discord where people will have the proper solution, and they'll, you know, they'll do kind of what the task was asking, but they won't put it in the function. And that will, um, that will make the test fail because the test is actually looking for a function and it's gonna call that function to make sure it gives back what the test is expecting. So um, let's start with our pseudocode like normal. So um, again, we'll write a function called last element. Um, it will accept a single array parameter argument. And the function should return the last element of the array. Return the last element of the array. So two things that I want to go over super quick. You can pass anything as a parameter or an argument into a function. You can pass functions, you can pass objects, strings, booleans, um, numbers, arrays of all of those things. But um, yeah, so that's that's really that. And then I don't know if you guys remember one of the last array ones where we had to change, uh, I think it was like Bellatrix to Dr Draco. Remember that little trick that I showed you guys for this last element thing? Well, let's um, let's get in this. So do function last element. And now here seems to be an area where some people get confused. So when you're reading these tasks or when somebody's giving you this information, we need to focus on certain keywords. So it says it accepts a single array argument. So what this means is this is a single array. Now it has seven things in it, but it's just one array. And that would be the same if it asked for one object. It would be an object with a bunch of stuff in it, but it's still only one object. So um, I do see this one get people um, a good amount. They're like, oh, well, how do I know what the, the array is? And it's like, at this point, you really don't care and you shouldn't care. We just know this is gonna be an array and we're gonna get one array. Now there may be multiple things in it, but we're just getting one array passed in. And then we need to return the last element. Well, here's where we get kind of tough, right? So we know, you know, in, in this instance, we know the last element is three because we see the array, but let's I don't know how big the array is going to be. And in almost all of the situations, you won't know. You're not going to know how big that array is. And so this is where we kind of use that trick that I showed you, where we have the length, which is going to be one more than the last index that's available. And so we can just subtract by one, and that will automatically give us the last index of any size array. And so we'll check to make sure this passes. And it didn't. So let's see, what did we do wrong? The last element function returns null when given an empty array. Ooh. Oh, and so this is my mistake. I did not do what I told you guys to, to read everything. So um, if the array is empty, it should return null. And so that was my mistake. I did not finish reading the instructions. So if empty return null. So now we're getting into a little more fun where we do, we have an array. We kind of have our little trick, but we do have to check and see if there's anything to it. So um, well, let's, let's pull up the console and let's uh, do some testing real quick. So, so if we have an array of zero or not uh, just an empty array, Array.length 
Ooh, that's zero. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. So I don't know. Okay, so an empty array is not considered a truthy value, which is actually good for us. So the reason I, I tested this is I wanted to see if an empty array is a truthy or a falsy value. And the reason I cared about that is if it's a falsy value, we can simply do the not operator. So let's just do this first. So we'll do if else. All right. So here, let's um, console.log1, and here we'll console.log2. So what's happening here is, all right, we're getting one. So I'm saying if this thing, which is literally just saying, is this thing true, console like this. If it's not true, console like this. So it console logged one, which means it is true. So an empty array is considered a truthy value, which kind of sucks. But if we do that length, we get zero. If you spell it right, length, we get zero. And I'm pretty sure zero is a false value. So again, I'm saying if zero, I will cancel log one. Otherwise, we will console log two. And... All right, we got two. So essentially, it's saying if true, which zero is a falsy value. So if true, well, that's false. So we came down to this else. And so this is a way for you to tell if something's truthy or not. And so in this instance, if zero, that's a falsy value. So we could use that in here and we can do if. Well, and actually, let's just do this. We'll just do array.line and that's going to be zero. That means it's empty. Return null. Else we will return the array with our little sneaky trick since we don't know how long it is. All right. So let's see. Let's see if that works, and then we'll we'll go over some other ways that we can solve this. And that passed, so that's awesome. And I'm not sure where the rest of the code went, but that's all right. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can check if a rate length equals zero. Um, Actually, you know what, let's just leave it at that. There are some other like kind of tricky, interesting ways to check the same thing, but I don't want to deal with those. So um, yeah, so that that's how we'll do it. Um, if it's empty, the length will be zero. And we know that, so that works fine. And let's comment this and we can do the, we can do the ES6 way or the arrow functions and we'll call this And we will do if that is equal to zero, return null, else that means it's not empty. We will do, and this is actually not even a good check, but they did say that they are giving us an array, so we should be fine with that. Otherwise, we'll return array, array.length minus one. And this should still work. Maybe all oh, perfect, and it does. And I do want to show. I don't know. Have you guys gone over ternary conditions? I'm not sure if you did or didn't. Um, but we could also do like a ternary conditional here. But um, I won't. I won't dive too much into that. Those are those are kind of complex, and if you're we're just getting the JavaScript, the function stuff here, we'll just keep it at this. So um, that's the solution to last element exercise, exercise 40. 
Um, I hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in number 41.